Not why. The sword of life. Okay, to uh, everyone listening, or well, the, well, the the people who are listening, the few the that few. listen. Here's the deal. <laughs> Speed Society is going to be hosting all of these podcasts. You're going to be seeing a ton from these guys. I, like they're yeah. how big are they, Sean? Uh, it's the biggest automotive website in the world, and I mean they got a lot of cool shit. Yeah, we're stoked to be working with guys like that for sure. Anytime we can align ourselves with other huge automotive people, this is perfect. So also, stop listening now and go and like it and comment on it. And the sooner you do that, hopefully, the more podcast episodes you'll hear yeah go ahead yeah the crow 405 murder nova midway street cars like it comment on us tell us who you are tell us why you listen to it keep this going please there are people that are, don't want this to keep yeah, there's going people right now trying to make trying to put it into this they, they so, don't want us on the air and we got guys like speed society that want to help us keep it going so welcoming us let's do it rock and roll help everybody out and while you're there check it out their website's awesome <laughs> hello Welcome to or something behind yeah. it, like welcome to the Chief and Sean Show. Bam, 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 bam. Yes, yeah, you know, and then with the ring, yeah, you know. at the end, and then I like it's yeah, you know, and yeah, then it, some, then it, throw some drums in, yeah, there. then it intros into the two and fucking street racing and yes. drag racing. Or yeah, really, a, really, get a soundboard and like do sound effects the whole. Yeah, thing. we need then, some sort of sound effect. Like, then like tell a joke, it goes anytime that yeah. Sean, yeah, anytime Sean says something funny, it goes boom. Yeah, we got. I feel like we've graduated to that at least. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. So, no, our producer's too lazy for that. We no. don't get sound effects. Uh, as of right now, he can sit over there and do nothing. Yep, and just make fun of us. Yes. Or not do anything that we're asking and leave us hanging on the radio or podcast, whatever this is called. On this live deal. This yeah, whatever. Okay, uh, and here it's we Tuesday. are. It's Tuesday. It's it's damn sure ain't Tuesday. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not sure about much. This is the. But furthest. I'm pretty goddamn sure it ain't Tuesday. This is the furthest thing from Tuesday that what we've done lately. But uh, I guarantee you, if you argue with our podcast listeners on Instagram, this is Tuesday. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. All I know is that the week I've had, it seems like Monday to me. What what what's what's going on? I've just your had week. What's the deal with your week? Nothing. It's been like the weekend all week. What have you done? Nothing. Why? Not a fucking thing. You should be doing something. You should be helping Kamikaze with his wheelie bars. <laughs> Man, there's so many people saying, please, just uh, raise your wheelie bars. It's amazing man. what the show captures. Little bitty things like that. Just just one little thing that we say about somebody's car, and then the whole internet just runs with it. And it's like... Well, and they made it a big deal, too. Yeah, like well, the, the show. show wasn't even that. I mean, it wasn't that big of a deal on the show. It just... It was, you know... He... He he lost twice, and you know you're not going to get a bunch of excuses out of Kamikaze. So they had to come up with some sort of an excuse yep. as to what happened to his car and why he smokes the tires. So they used what what we said, what we talked about on the starting line, mm-hmm. and it was of our opinion that when he raced Dave and Doc, that his wheelie bars were set too high. Now, you know, it was obviously of my opinion that that's what the problem was. <laughs> it was obviously of my opinion too because I spoke strongly about it after he lost. And it sucks because, you know, Kamikaze's my boy. Me and Kamikaze have been fucking homies since we were 12 years old and shit. And we did this fucking racing shit together for a long time. So Yeah, but none of that shit doesn't mean that y'all's not boys. So so, so you shit on something that he did. That's part of it. That's what we do. It wasn't even me actually shitting on it as much as it's just I'm disappointed that he lost. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm I'm not trying to say that, you know that he's stupid or he didn't know what he was doing. I'm just disappointed that my homeboy lost. And so if I feel like he lost because of the wheelie bars, I'm going to say something. That's just who I am. And you can bet your ass I said it to him too. You know, it's not like I said it because he wasn't listening. You know, they just didn't show the part where I went over there and, and, you know, talked to him about it and, you know, went over videos and tried to figure it out. But uh, in his defense, he had tested it that week and, he did fine and so whatever happened with him or his crew or whatever since in between those two times i don't really know it's really hard to test for that street it's really hard to test you can't for test for that street it, yeah so you, you can go to the racetrack all you want you can go to other streets all you want you know how it is you race you don't get testing before you race you come chances off the trailer are, chances are if he tested and everything went good with the way the way that the wheelie bars were then he had a lot of wheel speed out of the hole on whatever road that he was on 
and it didn't smash the tire down. But I know that he had sent me video of that and was like, dude, you are so fucking mad. You know? And so I watched the video. I didn't get a chance to watch the show Monday. I didn't watch it later on, but I didn't know what was going on. And he sent it to me and he goes, you are so fucking mad. And it's the clip of me, you know, saying they need to go down three inches. Why are the fucking wheelie bars so high and shit right. like that? You know, well, and he was laughing about it. So yeah, he may have been laughing about it then. Well, but he is at, now. Yeah, now. But Not at, at that time. time he wasn't, you know, yes. he was mad because he lost. And, and he was mad because, you know, we've helped Kamikaze in the past and he's helped up us in the past and we're all still cool. But, this shit has gotten so crazy and we do it every weekend and being the best is now our whole life. And so this street racing shit has taken over our lives. It's no longer we go out once a month and race with our buddies and so we can help everybody exactly. and we can, we can be a part of everybody's car. Now there's really no time to be a part of anybody's shit. And there's no, so Kamikaze had to get his own crew and Kamikaze and we have our own crews and I mean, even between me and you, I have my crew, you have your crew. And yep. on race night, you know, yeah, I can't. Yeah, sometimes we got to race each other. Right, and I can't step in there yep. halfway through your program. If I haven't been helping you all year, I can't step in there and say, hey, you need to do this, you need to do that, you need to do this. Because you're doing it for a reason. I don't know what that reason is, but that's why you're doing it. And I'm not going to step on your crew's toes and, and piss everybody off. And me and you, we're we voice our opinions very loudly sometimes. Mm -hmm. And, you know, even when we should probably keep things to ourselves or say them later when nobody's around, but we've gotten so used to the cameras being there. We forget they're there. Yeah. I had no so, idea that they caught everything that I said about those wheelie bars. Right. And so, know? but we didn't say it. The people on the Instagram were getting it twisted. You know, they think that we're shitting on him or they think we're talking shit or whatever, but no, not at all. We didn't say it like that. We said it like, Dude, if he'd have lowered his wheelie bars, he'd have beat that motherfucker. You know what I mean? And or that's what we thought. Who fucking knows? Yeah. If you know if that well, would have been I the case. I always want to see the El Camino win. Right. You know. I mean, I but, love that fucking car. And, but like you notice, like you're screaming at Monkey to to help him and to lower his wheelie bars. But like, I get why Monkey, Monkey can't me. step in there. Dude, Chris has his own crew. I know. If Monkey steps in there and oversteps his boundaries with those guys, that's going to cause problems between Chris and his own crew, because yeah. then. His crew is going to be looking at Chris, going, "Why the fuck are you letting those guys jump in here and take over when they we're helping? We've been we're helping you. They don't. They're not out with us every night testing. We are. So, I get why Monkey didn't step in. I there. get it too. And I get it too. and I can't go over there and tell like, but I can. I I do know that me and Chris talked about it a few times for the race, and I voiced my opinion. And you know, he was trying some things, and eventually, he gets it. You know what I mean? And whatever it took to get it, he got it. Whether it was lowering the wheelie bars or whatever he ended up doing, he figured it out. The car, the car's fast. Yeah. You know, so, but yeah, man, it's just crazy how the, how the internet can latch on to one little thing like that so hard and yeah. run with it, dude. It's just, I mean, it's insane. So everybody's on the internet going, just lower your wheelie bars, kamikaze. <laughs> like, you yeah, know, even before. though that was, you know, over a month ago and he's got it lined out since then. You and know. that was the first time he brought his car out with all the new changes and all that shit. So, well, and you know. he's even said, you know, he's a small tire guy. You know, he right. He never had big tires before. He's never had wheelie bars before. That is the first right. car he's ever had. So it took him a while to to figure out. Yeah, he's learning wheelie you know. bars. And you know? with the small tires, the front end's just all the way, and you just keep fucking taking power out of it till it goes. With the big tires. You know, the wheelie bars aren't there to keep the front end up. They're there to keep the tire around. They're there to keep the chassis happy, you know. So he's, he, but he's learned all that stuff. He's learning all that stuff. He's in the process of it. Yep. But yeah, nobody gives anybody a chance anymore on the internet, man. <laughs> no, nope, not at you all. You screw one thing up on the internet and you're up. You're, he going he gonna to hear about that. If he goes to an appearance in yeah. six months from now, they're going to oh, go, yeah. hey, I see you got them wheelie and, bars and lowered. every time he loses, no matter what he loses for, yep. he could lose because he red lit. And everybody's going to say, well, yeah, I noticed his wheelie bars was too high yep. just because of that stupid show. It's yep. crazy what people latch on to, you know? Yeah. Just like uh, every, it, I can't do anything without somebody asking me if my car shook. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. God. I mean, it's fucking everywhere, man. That thing's shaking, huh? Yeah, it's shaking. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you know. Yeah. And, it, you know, we talked to it. And just like Dominator. His bump box deal, you know, what I mean, like <laughs> he's poor fucking guy. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, and and so it's even so bad now. Like if something gets said on that show or something happens on that show, it spreads so fast and it spreads way up the line. Like manufacturers are posting on social media trying to defend themselves because 
their product wasn't on the car yes. or their product their, didn't cause the failure. Their product is not what Dominator is right. having a problem with. Is he too far away from the mic? Sean? Yeah. No, Sean's okay. good. Okay, he looks really far away. I was just making no, sure. No, okay. those, those mics are cool. Okay, cool. No, you're good. I'm just wondering. No, don't, don't I'm, fuck no, it up. Now I'm going to be worried about it. Don't fuck it up now. Now I'm going to be worried about it. He didn't even look at me. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Phantom, I don't well, need to tell on people. We need to get a mic check over there But it looks like we need to get a mic check over there Well, both y'all motherfuckers know if I ask Sean, he's going to go, no, this is where I'm always at. This is where I've never changed anything. Hell no. What's different? Nothing's different. Nothing's different. This is exactly, look, I'm looking at it. It's yeah. exactly the same. This, this is how I sit every time. I, the mic is always like this. That's the same thing with Sean and his fucking car. This, the car smokes the tires or, or the car doesn't make boost. I say, what'd you change? change? I didn't change nothing. What are you talking about? It's exactly the same. We changed nothing. Oh, well, we did change the heads and I <laughs> the forgot. Tune up. The converter. We, did, we changed the converter. <laughs> we went from a three speed to a two speed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we, went, we went ahead and put a new nine inch in the rear, in the back. Yeah. And so now. No matter what happens on the podcast, everybody on the internet is going to say, well, it's because Sean's too far away from the mic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Thanks. No, I guarantee you somebody will say something about the sound of the day now. Yeah. 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 And yeah. it's Phantom's fault, just to let you guys know. It's not Sean's fault. And he's kicked back over there not doing nothing. No, he's, so. yeah. That's why when I asked him, he had to look up and go, what? Yo, <laughs> Who? Huh? huh? What, guys? What? Sorry, yeah. guys. I was on Facebook. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. I'm making four-wheeler <laughs> videos. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I'm over here checking out this banshee. Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to fly my drone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you got Dominator. Every time he goes to bump in, he takes off. But and God dude, damn, it's the, why is it so fast? Whenever he bumps, whatever he's doing, he needs to figure out how to repeat that. Because when he goes to bump in, it's the fastest pass he's ever made. Yeah. Like his car leaves so fucking hard yeah. when he bumps. And you could hear me on the show the other night say, "Well, goddamn, he pulled three G's <laughs> on the fucking bump." He did, you know? dude. That bitch took the Hey, fuck man, that off. thing rolled out. And, and it doesn't matter what he does, because after that, it doesn't leave that hard. No, it's just... It still the, leaves hard, right. but not as not hard as, hard as, as it, it does in the bump. The bump makes it better. <laughs> well, so there's an actual product called a bump box, okay? So it's like, it's like Coca-Cola, okay? You can have Coca-Cola. And then everywhere you go, somebody's going to say, you want a Coke. Yep. Okay, Even it may if not I want a Dr. Pepper. It may not be a Coke. Yep. It may be a RC Cola. It may be a Dr. Pepper. It may be a Pepsi. It may be a Dr. It may be a Dr. Thunder or a Mr. Pibb. It could be a Shasta. Only assholes drink Mr. Pibb. It could be yeah, a Shasta. Yeah, only assholes drink Mr. Pibb, dude. <laughs> it could be anything, but they call it a Coke. Okay, well, this Bump Box, there's an actual product that's called Bump Box, and it's made by Davis Technologies. And yes. This has gotten so far that they wanted to post on social media and make sure everybody knew that that was not their product in Dominator's car. That he's having a problem. That he's with. having problems with. So th- it's the same thing. Like it just moves so fast and it spreads so quickly. Yeah, he's probably hearing about it too. Oh, it's can you probably imagine? all over his pages. People's probably going, "Hey, what happened to Dominator's car?" Why can't People's you, probably asking why, him. Why can't you what fix? Happened? Why can't you fix Dominator's bump box? Yep. You know, why'd you give him a, salt, a faulty bump box? Yep. So, How come y'all can't get that deal fixed? <laughs> I bet he gets tired of hearing that shit. Yeah, and it's not his product. No. You know what I mean? And and even if it was his product, you can't blame the product when it comes to Dominator. No. Nope. You blame him. No. Nope. Like, I was doing some Discovery Go questions for the internet the other day, and one of the questions was, if you could drive anyone else's car on the list, whose would it be and why? And I said, I would drive Dominator's car because, in my opinion, it's one of the fastest, if not the fastest car on the list besides yeah, but ours. You, but you would need a, a, a solid two weeks to go right. over everything first. But that's what I'm saying. But if you get him away from it and, and me in the seat, I feel like I could be super competitive with that combination. Dude, the car's you know? fast. Yeah, it's really fast. And you fast. see a glimpse of it every once in a while. But, <laughs> when he bumps. Yeah, when he bumps. <laughs> <laughs> right before but, he stages. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, man. I, I do got to give it to Dominator, man. He's done something that I've never done before, and, and that is he has learned everything himself. He does everything to that car. There's no doubt. I'm so and, proud And of the him. learning curve is it's going to take long. Longer, you know, I mean, if Lord. I didn't have you helping me or some of the people that I have helping me, you know, because I wasn't raised around racing my whole life, you know, and I've only done it the past, what, 10, 15 years, you know, and uh, so I've had help. And the first the 40 years, you didn't even race. No. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> so. But that guy, yeah. there's nothing that he doesn't do himself. It's, you know? it's, I mean, it really is. He's he's very impressive. And people don't get it because they don't know that about him. But yeah. he doesn't have help. He didn't have no one to teach him how to do any of this shit. He went from carbureted to carbureted fuel injected, to fuel injected from nitrous to turbo. You know, He's changed the chassis himself. He's changed 
you know, anything that gets done to that car, he does himself. And so talk about scattered. You get a guy who's trying to do it all himself and tune the damn thing and, you know, not having any help. You know, it's like he's lucky to be where he's at, honestly. Yeah, you know? I think the only thing he doesn't do himself on that car is build the fucking transmissions. Yeah. Because other than that, he does all the motor work. I think he, he used to build I think he used to build the train. I think he rebuilds some of the trannies, <laughs> but hopefully he doesn't anymore. <laughs> um, but – I mean, at the at the end of the day, though, he's he should be proud, even though he's number eight or nine or whatever it is. He still should be proud because he did it all himself. Yep. You know what I mean? No one's helped him. He I learned mean, he it all. He hasn't flown anybody in right. to tune it. He hasn't flown anybody and he's in. Actually, he hasn't sent anything off. He's made the attempt to learn it. It's not just yep. like he bought a tune from somebody or bought this and went racing with it. No, he like actually learned it. Yep. You know, and and. uh He's progressing, and, and he'll get faster He's and faster. He's a smart dude, man. He's, There's just a whole lot going on in his head. Man, good Lord. I texted him the other day. Oh, God. It was... Why would you do that? Yeah. Oh, I was watching the show, man, and I was <laughs> I was in one of my moods, and uh, in, it was self-induced, and... <laughs> I was feeling I was feeling real generous and happy and and so I text I text Joe and I said, "Hey man, like this year, this see this next season, my car's pretty well lined out. It's fast. I ain't got to do a whole lot to it in between races. Like, you know, if you need some help, I'd like to help you a little bit this next season. Like, you know, anytime we go testing, you come with us and and I'll lend you a hand. I'll do anything I can in between." I said, "Obviously, you know, Sean's new car stuff is going to take a lot of our time, but if we can if we can include dominating some of our stuff and try and help him get his stuff figured out, it'll make the list faster. It'll make us faster. Even, even a lot of the stuff that Dominator I feel like needs help with, I can help with some of that stuff too. Right, you know and, what I mean. So that's what I told him, and I was like, you know, I said I don't want to take any credit for your success, past or yeah, future. Yeah, and I don't want to be the guy who comes in and all of a sudden your car wins races and goes to the top, and everybody says it's because of cheap. I don't want to do that. Yeah, I just like to extend a hand put another set of eyes on his shit and say, you know, Hey man, try this, try this and, and see if we can get him a little bit more consistent. And his text back was at nine thirteen AM the next morning. He texts, damn. And that was it. And I was like, I think I pissed him off. So I didn't text him nothing. Well, then yeah, it, it's because pretty much you fucking, I mean, you could take that. You can. Ways. And that's what I was worried because about. Because he's Dominator. thinking, damn, I'm that big of a fuck up <laughs> that he needs to come and help me get my shit together. Right. Or, I mean, it could be, it could be taken either way or it could be taken like, damn. But Dominator wouldn't take it that you way. You know, and because Dominator's been real loyal here lately with all the shit that's been going on, all the backstabbing weird shit that's been going dude, on, Dominator's if, always loyal. Even if you meant it that way, that's right. not the way Dominator would take right. it. Right. And so then his next text comes an hour later and it says, <laughs> man, chief, you have me at a true loss for words. But, oh God, oh my God! But that's the text. It's literally, it's got to be a nine thousand word essay. Yeah, and then it says <laughs> it wasn't proofread. Man, you have you have me at a true loss for words. Yeah, he can't even spell check or nothing. Uh, so he puts all this shit in the text, and at the end he says, "Ha ha ha ha!" I guess I wasn't at a loss for words. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Uh, but it just took him a while to come up with them. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I like the guy. I think he's great. But yeah. but anyway, the bump box thing, he's got to get that figured out. The car is fucking fast, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's got its little issues here and but there. But I think but. right now he's uh, he's on his way to doing the whole brake thing and rolling in like a man. So hopefully the bump box isn't going to even be an issue anymore. Yeah, if he can get it to where it stays. And that's the other thing. Like I told him, I was like, dude, think about how much faster you would be if you got rid of worrying about whether or not the car is going to stage. If when you went to the starting line... It was in your head of how you're going to beat this dude, what you're going to do, how you're going to beat him, how you're going to drive, how well, fast you're going to go. Everything he does in between rounds and in between races is, is it going to stage? Well, and, and not to mention, think about how bad that will fuck your program up. If you've got one, and that's the beginning of, of what you do, too. Yeah, there's no like, data if you bump out. Yeah, no. <laughs> and I have a routine when I get in the car. Everybody does, I'm sure. You know, but I try to stick to that routine. I never used to, but you know, I try to stick to that routine. And if something, if, if one of the first things of my routine fucked me every time, <laughs> you can't even get past that part of your routine. Right. So, so after his routine stops with the bump. Yeah. As soon as like, so your routine starts with, uh, grab the trans brake, floor it. Yes. 
That wait way, on you know, it after to, you buckle in. Wait on it to get all situated. Well, yeah. Yes. Wait on it to build boost and then bump in. Yeah, that's it. Once he gets to that part is when everything goes out the window. So you can't and, even look past something like that because you're hoping that it's going to bump. Right. So, so you can't say I hope this fucking works and then just go on smooth with your routine. That's, so that's what I'm saying. You're in your own head. You know, mm-hmm. Dominator is is psyching himself out because the car won't stage. So. Right. I've he can't there. get any faster because he can't test. He can't do anything because the car won't stage. Yes. So he never has any opportunity to like try anything to get faster because all he's worried about is staging the car. Well, you I know? feel like that that was part of uh, we had the similar deal with my car. We couldn't get the car any faster. We couldn't do any better than what we were doing because the car shook so bad right. every pass. But and that, that was still it, past the bump. But it was I mean? in your head. But too. it was in my head. And then even when it made a good pass, you still, still pedal, pedal it because yeah. it was in your head that it was going to pedal. So that's what I'm saying. Like, so I get where that he's kind coming of shit from can, on that whole deal. That that, that'll shit. wreck your whole program. It'll wreck it for sure. And, so, and then you got to remember, like he sits there and thinks about it the way that he does and dissects it and yes. just like, yes. oof. Yeah, man. so I feel for him, man. But, you know, because once you figure it out, it still takes a good you know, handful of passes before yeah. it's not on your mind anymore. Like I still want to pedal the car every time I make a pass, and every but time I haven't. You, but every time you let off the button, you're also waiting on it to shake. Even though you know it's not going to shake anymore, even though you know you fixed it, even though if it does shake, it's not because of the chassis, it's no, no, because no. of something else. Oh yeah, it shook a couple of times since then, but, but it's always it's way not, past it, and it's and it's because of the road right. or it's or the tune, tune up, tune ups too you know, high yeah. or whatever. So you know that's different. Yes, uh, but yeah, but it, I'm not waiting for it. Like, like he is to, waiting for the bump not to work. Yep. Every time he pulls up to the line right now, he's waiting for that thing to fucking roll. That's out. That's gotta suck. It sucks bad. That's I've never had that issue. Gotta but suck. I know how bad mine is, and at least it's during the race. He loses the race before he gets a chance to show what his car can do. Yeah, and especially when sometimes he makes a hell, a hell of a pass, <laughs> and everybody's like, "Damn, that Dominator leaves hard." That's for you know, sure. <laughs> if you'd have went on the flashlight, dude, you'd have had a fucking race, you know. And yep. then guys like Doc don't even have to do anything because Dominator, you know, takes himself out of the race. Yep. So it sucks, but uh, the other races on the show. Let's see, uh, Ryan versus you. Yep, yep. Uh, uh, and that was, I, I'm not real sure if that was the first pass that we've made since we fixed the car. I don't know either because everything gets screwed up. It does. It, it was either the first or the second. I can't really remember. And, and I can't remember anybody else that I would have raced. Because remember, Kamikaze had a call out on me. And I didn't race him. No, uh, you raced Monza before the end. No, because Ryan was, Ryan was behind Monza. You raced Chuck, right? Didn't you race? Yeah, because no, I raced. You raced next, I raced next week. I'm sure I raced Monza. And you beat that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, because you raced Monza and lost, right? Mm-mm. No. Uh-huh. Oh, so you haven't raced anybody this season, but Ryan? I'm I've, so. I've lost. only lost. lost I've one. lost. The car. Yeah, I've lost the with the new car once. Well, now twice. Since the car's been fixed. Yeah, I don't know if that was the first pass or not. I guess it I, was. Though. I think it was. Well, I showed last week that I raced uh, Memphis. Right. But I actually think that I raced Ryan before the Memphis race. I don't remember. I think the Memphis race was actually my second race with the car, and Ryan was the first race. No, because I, when I went when I raced, when we raced Memphis, I really was ten, wasn't I? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I really was ten. So Memphis would have been your first race then. Okay. No, that is right. Because I was supposed to race Kamikaze. He didn't bring his car. Right. And then I tried to race Ryan that night. And oh, his yeah, car was hurt. And then we tested for Memphis. Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's when we thought yeah, Ryan's we car knocked a rocker off or whatever. Yeah. That's right. Well, remember. remember the injector was messed up. Yeah. And it was fucking it was pouring, fl- pouring out flushing the, yeah. the cylinder. So, so yeah, that was actually. Well, wait, because don't say it was the injector, because then you're going to get an injector guy posting up here. It wasn't the injector. It was uh, it wasn't something. Injector. It was a. I thought, no, I thought it was the. Uh, I remember him saying was it was the the pump in his fuel tank. He has a in his drum of fuel at the shop. He has a pump, and the inside oh, yeah, of the pump that came got inside apart. that in, that atomizer <laughs> injector. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's I uh, yeah I remember that's what so, happened. So, but it wasn't Jack at Atomizer Injector's fault. It wasn't his injector's no. fault. It was a piece of trash got hung up in his injector. Yes. Okay, so you got to yes. be more specific, otherwise yeah. they're gonna go find Jack and burn him at the stake because well, his injector cost. And then I'll go. Well, hey, you know, that's not what I said. <laughs> 
Did your injector hang up or not, God Yeah, I mean, did, did, was it an injector issue? Oh, it was, but it wasn't your fault. I get that. Yeah, it was trash in the in the fuel system, right. you know, or something like that, uh, you know, that caused but, it. But, yeah, I was supposed to race him that night, and that would have been the first lick on the car. And then it I actually being, didn't get to see that race on the show. I don't even remember that race in person. It wasn't a bad race like he was you what Ryan. he called what what they they called it like four cars but i don't think it was four i, w- I wasn't there that night I mean, he I made a full remember. hit he oh, made a he? full hit i yeah. thought he was saying that he made it was the same tune-up from memphis but it smoked the tires or something and he had to pedal it oh yeah he did he said that uh <laughs> he said that uh he right. had to pedal it right at the right at the start right yeah, and it, but it was the same tune-up he had against Memphis. But and against Memphis, he raced later on in the night. Me and him raced first. And this time, you and him raced right off the trailer, which is not where you want to race the Murder Nova, really. That's where I want to race. That's where you want to race, yeah. But that's not where anyone wants to race you. Yeah. So I get that. Uh, so as much as people say that, you know, oh, that's like a racetrack now or whatever, hey, you still that first pass is still tricky. Yep. You still can't go as fast on the first one as you can later on in the night, yeah. you know. Um, I can but yeah, <laughs> because I can't really go any faster. Because so. <laughs> later on the but night, you're still going to go. Night, the same. I'm still going to go the same, and it's not the fact <laughs> right. that that my car's just badass off the trailer. It's just not so badass after all the right. rubber gets put and, down. And when the chassis was fucked up, it was actually slower the later on in the it night was. you went because when the more rubber was there, the harder it shook. Well, and now the I'm kind of thinking plays. that we just haven't turned it up enough. Right. Well, we haven't later had time. on. Yeah, no, we haven't. we haven't had a chance. Right. We've literally raced that car. What four times right. since since we've got it fixed? So if we can get and, it, if we can it get keeps it. on impressing me, you yeah. Know? But if we can get it to the track or somewhere and turn it up and see what it'll take, no, it, it no. may go faster. No, we're over that deal. But we're over Remember? it. Remember, we're over it. We got a new one sitting next to it right we now. We have a new. And, uh, yeah, how cool are those pictures on the fucking internet, yeah, man? Of both of them sitting there. You know how many it's people are like, "Whoa, so, what do you, you mean? There's two? Yeah, <laughs> you know, all the people who thought we just fixed up the old Dude, car. It it reminds me of like when I was a kid and my uh, my my ghetto ass aunts and shit used to watch all them soap operas, and then there was always a twin brother. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, like yeah, one, who shows up? Yeah, mysteriously yeah. for some reason. One brother yeah. is like fucking up and doing a bunch of fucked up yep. shit, and then yep. all of a sudden the twin brother shows up, and it's just like. Oh my God! There's yep. two of them, you know, and yep. it, and dude, that's what it reminds me of. And I was looking at those pictures online as I'm scrolling down through there, and I was like, "Wow, how cool is that? Those cars, they really look similar. They do. They really they do." do. I, and I'm 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 almost looking like at the pictures. I can't really notice it in person, but the the old OG is fucking darkness. Like it's Wesley <laughs> Snipes black, you know. So, and I thought that the paint was pretty much the same they do have a little different tint there's a little different tint yeah the new ones are a little more grayish or whatever yep. than the yep. than the old one but in the pictures dude they look i mean it's crazy they sit about the same in the pictures now in real life they don't no in real life they don't but in the, the pictures they look so close but, man, we've lowered the back of the old car so much that it's right. not much different anymore until you actually see it i was scrolling down through there and I, all of a sudden i come across those uh one of those one pages that somehow get all of our pictures immediately and even pictures like muscle car mayhem that one, or something that's the yeah, one he's, he gets them all that whoever that, who does that page I don't, I don't know who it is I don't know he's but always in our dude, pit at a race really he never yes because whoever that is gets gets solid pictures from behind the scenes from us and posts them and I'm always like where the fuck did he well, get that, that picture I messaged the car before PRI <laughs> yeah yeah he, he posted, posted the car, the car before, before PRI. Well, PRI I told him that he could he messaged me really and I told him yeah it's cool man that picture's already been out there and then Phantom fucking messaged him and goes, what the fuck? And, <laughs> hey, and, and he yelled at him and he pulled it down. <laughs> but well, he's I don't know been who in is, our but, pits before. Yeah. But he was at he's, PRI. He never, he used, I thought in the beginning that he was going to shit on us. Because he used to say a little bit of smart ass stuff here and there. But then as time has gone on. I mean, he's all right, guy. He's, he actually, or girl, whoever it is. I don't know who the fuck it is. But I, Kentucky says he knows who, who it is. All I know it's is that man. I saw one picture and he even said, "There I am in that background of that picture." And huh. I was, and this was the unveil. I'd like of the to car. know who that and is. And I don't, I still don't know which one he is. Because I'm always like, "How the fuck, dude? This guy. Some, sometimes this guy gets pictures of like the inside of the crow before anybody else had him. I'm like, yeah. who the? Like, how the you don't even have that. Yeah, picture. like how the <laughs> fuck does this guy get pictures from from our own shit? You know what we I mean? Underestimate his sneakiness. Yeah. <laughs> well, his but his uh, when I saw it. When I saw the picture, I was like, the first thing that came to mind was, whoa. And like, and I'm looking at him going, what's the difference? You know what I mean? Well, then I start, 
I start thinking about that song in my head and then I look at the post and his his caption to the post was the lyrics to that song. It was so is there's uh Dr. Dre from Chronic 2000 and it was uh what's the difference between me and you? Oh, yeah. And it says about uh five bank accounts, 3 ounces and two vehicles. It was fucking yep. cool. I was like, "Man, okay, so whoever that is, they like you know, they like good music, too, because Chronic 2000 <laughs> is one of the greatest fucking yep, albums yep. ever made. I can listen to that thing over and over and over again. Yeah. But he's on. a big podcast listener, too. Really? So, yeah. Well, it, I don't know. It's just cool to see it. And when I was scrolling through there, I was like, dude, that's cool. You have two Murder Nova, Sean. It's crazy walking into the shop every day There's and all, looking at them going, you know. It's kind of it's kind of shitty. From a little distance. You're kind of shitting on everybody. Well, I know. Because there's only one person in the world that has a Murder Nova. And that's you. Mm-hmm. And you have two of them. One wasn't enough. That's a real dick move, man. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> like, nobody. And if anybody else built a car that looks like yours, or remember the guy that built one that looked like it, or sim- similar, and called it Murder Nova Killer or whatever, Murder yeah. Nova Killer. and you shit on him for copying you, yeah. like, you're the you're only one that's going to allow anybody to, <laughs> you're not going to allow anybody <laughs> to have a Murder Nova, no, and you have two of them. Not, and I'm not going to sell the old one, <laughs> so. You have two of them, man. I know. You should, like, divvy up a little bit of the of the Murder Nova-ness. Yeah. It's crazy so, that it's these two of them. What are you going to do with this one? I, I don't really know yet, you know. And what's what's funny is the other day, you know, all those storms and shit are coming, and Aaron's like, we got to get insurance on this car. And I was like, we don't have insurance on the old car, you know. And I was like, plus, <laughs> we've only got one title for the two cars. Oh, God. You can't really admit to fraud on the podcast. Yeah. Well, it's not like I drive it down the road. Until I drive it, Until on the road. drive it on the road and it's on a but, road. Hey, but which one is it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. How you know which is one this, it is? Is this is this uh, is this uh, <laughs> fucking Lee whatever or is this Doctor Drake Ramore? Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> which brother is it? You so know? I got two tags that say murder on them. That's so, cool, and they're both registered to the car. <laughs> two chains. It, <laughs> it was tough to do, but they were like, "That's sneaky." Well, what happened to yours? And I was like, "Man, somebody stole." You wouldn't believe this. <laughs> somebody stole that some bitch. I'm gonna need another the tag. one. Stole my goddamn tag. Jesus. Yeah, that's neat. Yeah. it's cool to have two Murinos. Yeah, but you can't. You, if both of them get wiped out in the same place, then Damn. you're kind of fucked. What, you're what? only gonna get paid on one of them. <laughs> And you got a bunch of money. In and then I'm going to go, no, but look, there no, was I had two, two of them. <laughs> and they're going to go, well, no. how was there two? And I was going to go, but there was two. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you going to do with the old one? Well, I mean, first off, I'm going to make sure we like the first one. You know, the new one. I mean, what if what if it's a pile? What if we blow the motor up every other week? Or what if we, mm. you know, what if something fucking happens and it turns out to be shit? But the one you have now is but, shit. But we like it's it. way better. Yeah, it's the shit we're used to. <laughs> it's the fucking you used to. <laughs> I mean, and fuck, it's actually running pretty good right now. I mean, I could have. Well, yeah, it's running real good because you freshen it up before every big race. I know. <laughs> you I know. change everything. Change everything every up. Every fucking race. It didn't change nothing. I am thoroughly impressed uh, with the old Murder Nova, and I hope the new one fucking shows up and does work i hope so too because if not it's gonna get parked i think it will i mean i i mean the car is fucking it's a work of art and it's beautiful but that doesn't mean anything about it being fast you know i mean we uh hopefully we're gonna get it all set up next week you still got a lot to do to it oh thanks because uh (laughs) the tuning right now i you know i've never claimed to be a tuner but I have kind of looked over the tune a little bit in it. And it seems really excessive to me. <laughs> like, at one point, I saw 37 degrees of timing in that bitch. Hell I don't yeah. feel like even at idle, that 10-degree head should have 37 degrees of timing. Probably not. But Where'd I you feel get like... That? Sounds like the like tune-up out of my car. I, it, <laughs> 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 well, well, where, uh, does you, where does your tune-up have 37 degrees yeah, of timing at? Yeah, uh, at idle, huh? Well, at idle and... Um, Usually, it, it usually unless I'm on the street, it usually has 37 degrees all the way up until about 30 pounds of boost. There you go. So there you go. There you go. So you're telling me you didn't build a whole new tune for this thing? Of course not. Mm. He's not a tune builder. No, I am not, that, sir. I am not a tune builder. So you but snuck in here and took it, my fucking it, it tune It runs out of my and car. it idles, and I'm not. I damn sure wouldn't say that it goes up on the brake. But the only thing that I'm a little worried about and wondering about is the motherfucker's fat. Like your shit needs more fuel than mine. I doubt That's that. That's weird. It is weird. But it's fat. Hey, like, what's the air fuel? It's 
No, it just smells fat and it fucking idles it's like it's on. fat. But hey, I can rev it up just a little bit, man. Hey, and that motherfucker put out about a four foot flame the other day, cool. and I was like, "Sounds fat. Oh my god!" And <laughs> Travis goes, "Yeah, Travis didn't even move." You know, Travis, the yeah. fuel doesn't bother him, dude. He didn't even move. I saw that flame. Of course, I didn't have no door on it. It's got bullhorns on it. <laughs> And it's like pointed right at me, this four foot fucking flame, which I've seen your car do before. Yeah, I love it. And I'm not used to that shit. So it kind of scares the shit out of me. <laughs> Travis doesn't even move because don't worry about it, it's just a little fat. Yeah, and it's a <laughs> that's brand. All, that's yeah. all fucking Travis said. Yeah, Travis don't care. M5 don't bother him. Not Nitro methane. Bit. Don't We're bother running him. out of the shop whenever we fired that thing up. Oh, We're running out of the shop. Breathe. We're crying. You know, can't breathe. He'll Our drink faces it. are red. And Travis goes, Where y'all going? Yeah. Yeah, you know, and dude, he's just fine. He'll drink it. And, you know, the more you're around it, the easier it does get. But I've noticed, like, if I'm around it for, if we race real hard for two or three weeks or whatever, I get, you know, if we're pulling it in and out of the trailer a bunch to work on it and shit, I get used to it. But then if I don't fuck with it for a while, well, then it know, kills me. Dude, I was going to say, how did I kill her from the dude, truck? Because hey, <laughs> she's always I, sitting in the I truck. I turned around and looked at her, and she was like this, and her hair's blowing, and she is right on your, your, your exhaust is just uh, blowing right on her. Uh, and I was like, that's like the worst fucking place ever you could possibly be. And I couldn't believe she was standing there. But I'm talking like when we got home, she said that she couldn't swallow her. She said oh, that really it sucks. felt like her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sucks for you, buddy. Yeah, it sucks. yeah this was a, this was a night for for both of us. <laughs> but, it, but she said that her, her throat was fucking sore and it was hurting and like for somebody to have the problems that she has with allergies and and all Jeez. that, she damn sure shouldn't have been standing where she was standing. <laughs> So. Yeah, I, I love it when there's all those. That we were at a big race this weekend, and there was so many people around the starting line. It felt just so much crazy like home that's it the way it felt like a fucking grudge race dude the, it felt like a street race you know what i mean like i was at cash days a few weeks ago it was exactly the same mm -hmm. you know what i mean mm -hmm. like it was it was insane these these producers that we have now and the the group of people that we have out there filming us now amazing um, they're le they're literally letting us street race they're yep. letting us do our thing they're not out there. bitching they're not they're not, they're I mean, not showing i don't even remember like, the last time i guess it was uh, your race with richard rollins that i had to fucking say hey calm the fuck down man yeah. <laughs> we're gonna fucking stand here if we want to stand here yeah. nobody has Dude, said anything it was us. crazy man i was like trying to drive through a giant crowd of people to do a burnout yeah, and it's and, like as you roll the crowd moves mm -hmm. with you around yeah. your car and and that and I'm just loving it because I'm standing there and you know me I like to pick out my guy in the crowd and yeah, whoever was yeah. talking shit the round before yep. that's the one that I pick out and I just fucking load them up with M5. I can't uh, wait to start doing that. It's it's a good time. I it bet. really is. A little game in the car. And whenever you look at videos and pictures of your car and everybody's crying and their eyes are watering and they're fucking mad as fuck, yeah, it's just it's great. Yeah. It just it, gets, it makes you smile. Feeling. It is. It's a real I can't good wait feeling. For that. And the flagger is like, you know? <laughs> I usually am too, because yeah. you'll go, boom, boom, and all of a sudden it just blows out a little bit of smoke, and then all of a sudden, and I'm holding your car, and I'm trying, and then I run right through it as I'm going. And, yeah. And normally, if I can time it just right, but sometimes it gets me. I love it. It's the good. That's the good stuff. That's the stuff dreams are made of. Yeah. And I thought, man, you know. There was two M5 cars in the final round of this big race, and I thought this is going to literally run everybody out of here. And uh, you yeah, know, you did. know what happened. We can't yeah. talk about it, but you know, we, what we can talk about it in a couple of weeks. Yep. Uh, so. so let's see. Uh, what else happened on that show that happened? we can't talk about? It's uh, called Street Outlaws. <laughs> Farm truck and Asian. They brought out the dung beetle and raced Kong. Oh yeah, the eye doctor. Yeah. And his uh, what kind of car is that, Phantom? Was it the GTR? No. No, it was, no, it was the yellow. No, it was orange, wasn't it? Oh, I thought it was yellow. I, I don't know. I haven't seen the show yet. I haven't. I think it's oh, orange. Because they called orange. it Sherbert colored. I don't think there's yellow Sherbert, is there? I don't know. I don't know. If either. I think of Sherbert, I'm thinking orange. Me too. I don't know. But anyway, it was some sort of supercar. It was like a, some sort of Lamborghini or something. Yeah, Lamborghini. Ferrari. All, yeah, Lamborghini. whatever. It looked like, it looked like, it looked like a piece of Skittles. They're, they're all the mean? same. Yeah. Yeah, they all look the same. They all run the same. You know, yep. whatever. Yep. They all cost the same. Yep. And they're you know they're all the same amount of out of reach of us. Yes. So yes. Uh, but but it's funny because like people don't know Kong. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like people on TV, they just think he's some eye doctor that farm truck went and got his eyes checked out, and then he brings out his supercar to race yeah. the dung beetle. Well, Kong's a racer. But Kong's 
had. He does everything. He's had yeah. fast shit too. Yep. Yeah. I mean, he had a you know Don Dow. Don Dow built him a small tire Mustang. He's had he had that convertible uh, 5.0 liter car, the Mustang small tire car that was fast. Yeah, the I blue, didn't know that wasn't that it was blue? Him? Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. blue. Had yeah. the underglows and shit on it or some uh, shit. That car. Um, he's had a he's had a lot of fast cars. He's had supercars. He's had regular. He had a Porsche for a while that was really yep. fast. I mean, yep. he had that GTR. He he's been still around. Has that GTR. He's been so around. Cool. He's been oh, he around does. drag yeah. racing a long time, and he's been around racing and cars and stuff in general a long time. So, I saw a lot of comments online that were talking shit on him. You know, oh, he don't know what the fuck he's doing. Oh, he knows what he's doing. Trust me, he yeah. knows what he's doing, and he knew coming out there that he probably didn't have a shot against the fucking dung beetle or whatever they were racing. But you know, it's a. Uh, it's just one of those deals. If you're a racer, if you're a car guy, you're going to come out and have fun doing well, yeah. car shit. Oh, well, yeah. You know what I mean? If um, somebody tells you, hey, come and race this person, and you get to go race somebody, no questions asked, we're all going to do it. Yeah, exactly. But I, I like Kong. He's cool. I think he's a good racer. Yeah, I, I like he's Kong. A, he's a good racer. I've never he's had a problem dude. with him. He's, he's real, you know, I mean. But if you do have a problem with him, he's going to walk up to you and tell you. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's not going to get on the internet and shit on you. He'll walk over and go, hey, I had no idea hey, he Chief, was an eye doctor. This is what I, oh, really? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, and, and down by the racetrack, too. Huh, I yeah. didn't know that. But I like how, obviously, so the story with Farm Truck and Asian was he Farm Truck went to the eye doctor and met this doctor who has some supercar, and then so they just set up a race, right? That was the story. But you could tell it wasn't their story. You could tell it was like, something that someone helped them or pilgrim or somebody come up yeah, with because yeah. farm truck kept saying over and over there's nothing wrong with my eyes you know like <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah he yeah, didn't want somebody to think he was getting old no yeah and he wanted to let you know hey yeah i went to the eye doctor but my eyes are fine yeah but you know? i got them checked out everything's yeah, good yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh so it was funny though it was funny to watch um and then it didn't launch it was something they had uh, they had a line lock or something on it. But anyway, uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. Something happened the first race. I don't know. Line lock or something didn't work or the launch control or something. It didn't work. So it didn't on even. On the Ferrari? It has a line lock and shit? I, some like, of those, those, are, super... those are fucking race cars, aren't they? Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. They're just slow race Dude, cars. Dude, I've never even been in one. Never. i never been around one. I don't know anybody fucking who has one of those. <laughs> well, something happened. It didn't launch or whatever. And then they come around the second race and he got it to do a little better, but it's hard time in farm trucks flag and time in it. Cause they, you know, you kind of, and the dung has to get on boost too. So it's kind of tough if you haven't done it, you know, yeah. you haven't done something a few times, you, you know, you got to kind of figure it out. So, but the car looks fast on the big end or whatever, but oh, it, sure it is on the big end. It didn't have, it didn't have shit for the dung beetle, especially out of the hole. That, like, it does. You know, does. I think it makes what 400 horsepower and it probably weighs 2,100 or 1,500 pounds. I bet. No, I think it's even lighter than that. It's like 60. Yeah, I don't think it's very much. And Asian only weighs like 97. <laughs> so, yeah. God damn. Yeah, Asian. His blood pressure, though. Yeah. <laughs> his veins weigh more than his fucking Good body. Guy looked like a road map. Yeah. Uh, very vascular. Yeah, yep. he's very, he's very vain. He's, he, oh, he's so, so vain. He's so vain. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? We used to, that was their name on the internet. It's so vain. Oh, the striker. Wasn't know. it striker? Oh, yeah. I think it was striker. I don't remember who it was. It's so vain. It's so vain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's a good name. Uh, and then I raced Jeremy uh, on the show, the old banknote. Yep. Um, yep. Yeah. Yeah. You know, what can you say about that? It was a good bunny hop. I think he'd yeah. have cleared a fucking Coke can. <laughs> or, Dr. Or, or, hey, a Dr. Pepper can or a Mountain Dew can. Whatever can you want to put under there. Hey, Jerry's car can bunny hop. It can bunny hop, dude. It can bunny hop. Yep. Good Lord, that thing can bunny yep. hop. Yeah, all fours came off the ground. Yeah. It, it like, ain't the first time it's done it. It looked like uh, Crew Jones and Red or whatever his name yeah. is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then I raced yeah. Dominator and... um. We basically, in order to get dominated to race us, just no bump. I I didn't even. I wanted a good race. You know what I mean. I didn't want him to screw up again. Yes, I didn't yes. want to. I didn't want to take it from him that way. I wanted a good race. When I have the opportunity to get a good race, I'll take a good race. So, we told him you were standing there, and we told yep. him just go up there, stage or any way you want, put it on the trans break, and and I'll wait until <laughs> you're ready to go, and then I'll come in, and we'll that way no bumping, no yeah. no goofing up. Yeah, that and, way he don't have to. All he's got to do is let off the trans break. Right. Now, for list racing and stuff, and between me and him and just our normal crew, that works. Yep. You can do that just so that you get a good race off and find out who's faster. 
But when you race out of town and shit, you can't do that shit. Yeah, and plus, you know, I mean, it, it wouldn't have been... You didn't want him to give you the spot. And right. chances are, man, he was going to take seven days to fucking try to get his shit fixed. You right. know, which would have been understandable. So we just kind of came to an agreement no, it where... Was, you find out which car's faster. It was yeah. At that point, I wanted to know, you know, what I mean, yeah. because if my car ain't no faster than his, then I'm then that's where I belong is right behind him. You know yeah. what I mean? So, uh, luckily, that's not the case. My car is faster <laughs> so than as his. It turns out, <laughs> just as I thought. Yeah, yeah just, uh, my car is faster than his. Uh, but so now I got to wait on Kamikaze. He called out Doc, so we're waiting on Kamikaze and Doc to race, and hopefully he lowers his wheelie bars or whatever the internet <laughs> says he needs to do. And I get to race him Monday night, I think. Um, but, so I want to talk about something. Now we got all that. Uh-oh. Here. What'd you do? So, I let you know yesterday or whatever. I was like, let's do a podcast tomorrow. Like, I wanted to do a podcast. I got, I got some things I want to talk about. I want to get it off my chest. Uh-oh. Uh, and, uh. I mean, dude, it just doesn't matter what we do. I can't get the internet to shut up. So, uh, I'm, I guess I'll just feed them. I'll, you know, I'll oh, take great. a different approach here. 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 We go. I'll feed oh, here the we trolls. Go. So, uh, so I'm, I'm sitting at the house the other night, and I get a knock at the door, and it's some sheriff or whatever. And I got see, I don't even know about any of this. Right, and I got served. Oh wow! So uh, paperwork's come through, uh, and it was at night. Yeah, it was at night. They caught me. They caught me at night. Um, got you slipping. <laughs> yeah, caught me slipping. <coughs> you were awake. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was at night. <laughs> I was awake. Remember? Uh, <laughs> you didn't. You didn't. You. you didn't see him try to come at eight o'clock in the morning, did you? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you know, it's no no secret, obviously, that uh, me and. Alicia, my wife of 10 years, have been having, you know, trouble or whatever you want to call it. Well, it's further than just having trouble. And, you know, we're, we're actually uh, getting a divorce and uh, that's happening. Yeah. So just like everybody on the Internet says, it's going down. Uh, luckily, I get a call. I got a call from a buddy of mine in the DA's office who was like, hey. I just want you to know something came down the pipe. You're fitting to get served for some shit. Just be normal. Act normal. Dude. Like be, don't run. Don't, and I'm like, what the fuck, man? Like <laughs> the, what kind of person do you think I am? They're not trying you know to put I mean? you in jail. They're yeah. just trying to give you some paperwork. He said, if you get a knock at the door and it's a, and it's a, a, a 12 or one times at your door, don't go running out the back, jumping fences. Like yeah, it's yeah. just, you're just getting served. I was like, okay, cool. So, um, <laughs> So, the internet likes to say things, and they've said, you know, obviously the whole thing about my girlfriend, and oh, who's the new chick, and who's the new girl, right? Oh, I haven't heard that. <laughs> <laughs> I, about it. I can fucking post a picture of my dog taking a shit, and they can say, who's the new girl with Chief? Yep. I actually did that. <laughs> I posted a picture of me and a dog at Cash Days, and everybody's, that the new side chick? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they showed it. Man, it is unbelievable why that is why that seems to be so interesting to talk about. I, I have know. no idea. I don't know. Those people need to know more than me because I damn sure don't ask you questions. Yeah, it's, I don't care. It's crazy yeah. how why these these people are so entitled, you know, and God, it, it's unbelievable. And I try and tell everybody, like, you know, they're just, they're fans. Even though they seem like haters, they're fans. Give them enough time, they'll, all those people turn into fans just like the rest of them. Well, I got this lady on my street that made a post on Facebook oh, yeah. when all this was going <laughs> down. And she said, he just needs to come clean about hanging out with this other chick. and What? Yeah, man. And not, and not, <laughs> yeah. And he just, I, I, on your, I, at your fucking house, yeah. your neighbor yeah. posts this on Facebook? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. my God. It says, How fucked up and boring does yeah. your life have to be says, to make a post like that? <laughs> as long as your husband been cheating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it said, he just needs to come clean, and we're not stupid, and we know he's got another chick, and we know that him and Alicia aren't, and he ain't living there. But you there, weren't and, hiding it. And, no. And she said, he just needs to come clean about it. And this is ridiculous. And he's leaving behind the person who supported him his whole, whatever. You know what I mean? Like the same shit everybody else says. You, you know, 
Y'all don't know a motherfucking thing, I promise. Okay? So shut up. But now this person will leave her name. Well, she'll re- re- remain named. Hey, I wish I knew her fucking name because I'd we'll, say Delma we'll Spencer. Right. We'll call her, you know, let's just say her name's Angie. Okay. All right. Okay. So Angie. Angie Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so what is this to gossip, in quotation? Delma Spencer let all them dogs out in the trailer park, and Delma Spencer, yeah. yeah. So, anyway, this is Angie, Angie this Thomas, Angie girl. Thomas person, says all this stuff about how big a piece of crap I am, and I need to come clean, and all this other stuff, just basically just running me through the mud here, you know, and then yeah. telling me that, you know, all the neighbors know that I'm a piece of crap. Everybody in the neighborhood knows that I'm okay. secretly, you know, living this other life or whatever. And I'm like, but not secretly. I'm. Do you think that Alicia doesn't know that I don't live there? Like, <laughs> you, like come on, now. she just hadn't realized it yeah, yet. Yeah, I mean, she thinks you're out in an appearance yeah, somewhere. Yeah, so <laughs> a year and a half. <laughs> He just works really yeah. long hours late at night. <laughs> and so so she did all this. Well, then, guess who I see posting yesterday or day before on the internet? It was brought to my attention. One of my great fan internet has said, hey, wasn't this the chick who was talking shit? She posted on the internet that she she said, hey, I live on your street and uh, I have a hat for this charity that's going down, and I need you to sign it. And, oh, and P.S., welcome to the neighborhood. It's so cool to see you riding around. You know, your car sounds good and all this other stuff. And I'm like, what? It's the same girl? The same girl. And then she posted, my husband's going to bring the hat by your shop, so hopefully you'll sign it for this deal for us, blah, blah, blah. And I just want to be like, I just want to be like, What? Like, you remember when Steve Austin was on WWF? And <laughs> said, when he would watch, he would watch, and then, he, then he'd give him somebody the Stone Cold Stunner? That's what I want to do. I just want to be like, when, like, watch, and then stun you and drink a beer. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Dude, I just, how can you go, how can you flip the script so quick? Like you were so pissed off about yeah. me and who I am and what I am and you you're were a so piece of shit. yeah you're so you, you were dis you were disappointed it was despicable for me to even live in your fucking neighborhood <laughs> like you didn't even want me in your fucking neighborhood and now you want me to sign like, your hat well yeah she can go and show everybody that she got this hat signed by Big Chief yep she gonna be the hit at that charity meet well <laughs> he goes well well. I really wish that I could stone cold stun or somebody yeah. like when they hand me the hat and I just <laughs> boom and then drop them and then they yeah. they flip flop over on the ground yeah, a few times and then I look in the crowd throw my hands up somebody yep. throws me a beer and I shotgun it and walk off yep I'll tell <laughs> you what, what, I'll tell you what's bad <laughs> is is now that charity is gonna <laughs> fucking miss out well no now and now because the, and she's probably you're gonna make the, it a point to not sign that fucking hat now I already told the charity that She's gonna get this to happen. She's gonna make this out. You know, I can get Big Chief to sign it. Oh yeah. And so now the charity, when I don't sign it, the charity's gonna be like, "Well, Big Chief's an asshole because he wouldn't sign our hat." Well, she they went through the wrong bitch. Yeah, try to get I that mean, deal done. It's just like I just don't understand, man. Like I try and be a decent neighbor. I don't even like. You know, yeah, I don't I mean, know my neighbors. I don't do That's anything. how I'm a good neighbor. Yeah, I don't do anything. I don't. I leave them alone. I drive. <laughs> I drive slow down the street. I wave at all the kids. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I'm a, I'm, I try and be as normal as I can, you know? Like, you don't fuck with them in the mornings when they're out there waiting on the bus and shit? No, I, you know? <laughs> no, I don't, you know, I don't do burnouts on the street. And yeah. all, I don't, I'm, but damn, for you to act like that you were disappointed that I even lived on your street. You know what I mean? That what's the, oh, there goes the neighborhood. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then try and tell me what I'm supposed to do with my life. And then now, now all of a sudden it's welcome to the neighborhood. Yeah, I need to holler at you. You know what I mean? Just damn. It reminds me of Friday, whenever the mom comes outside and she goes, "Hey girl, yeah. <laughs> would you look at <laughs> that?" <laughs> and she goes, "Call me when you get off work." She, she goes, goes, "Okay." okay. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, what? yeah. What? So that's what I just what. That's the way I feel, and. 
of course, then everybody on the internet, you know, in the same type of deal, they're saying, oh, you're going to, you know, your Alicia, your ex-wife's going to take you for everything. She's going to take everything from you. And you know what? Hey, she probably could. Let's yeah. be honest. You know, I probably end up with nothing, but I, I've had nothing before. Yep. You know what I mean? And, and, you know, I can promise you that I'll never take anything away from Alicia and I'll never try and keep anything that belongs to her. And, and I'll admit it, you know, Hey, she was there for me when I earned a lot of it. So, you know, she gets her share. You know what I mean? I ain't going to keep it from her. And trust me, she does. She's not, <laughs> she ain't without, I promise you. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and you don't see Alicia on there talking shit. Nope. You know what I mean? That's no, the thing. And she ain't fucking bitching and saying no. you're a fuck dad or not nope. fucking giving her money or right. not, you know, being in your kids' lives. She's not on there fucking nope. bitching about that shit. Nope. And I got to give her so, props because she's she she stays out of the drama. You know what I mean? We have our own drama. Obviously, there's drama between me and her. Whatever. She stays out of the internet drama. She ain't trying and to hear. That's got to be tough to do. Oh, you man. can only imagine, especially with everybody. Tagging, tagging her and shit and posting tagging her shit, with shit and, and, and saying who's shit about new yeah. girlfriend dude it's gotta be rough and telling her that i'm cheating on her all the time and shit you know it's like hey like i mad props yeah for, no. for being able to stay out of it that and yes. especially you know and I've, she hasn't fucking lost her mind she yet, hasn't fucking done anything yeah. too crazy well, i mean i ain't you know, heard about it well, you know well you know what I mean? Yeah, but if she did, no. dude, I mean, she ain't, no, she, she's I got a couple coming, right? You know what I mean? I mean, <laughs> no, <laughs> she's, but she's, you know, she's more grown up than all the other people on the internet talking shit. You know what I mean? And and that's that's commendable. But it's just, it's just terrible, like how people can act on the internet about yeah. my life or what I'm doing, and and seem and for some reason, they have some sort of. How they even have an idea of what's going on in my life, or how they think they can even comment on what I should be doing, fame or what changes people, or yeah, or how can they say fame changes people? Okay, yeah. you know, how can they say that shit? They don't know who I was before. They don't know who I am now. All they know is what I let them know. Yeah. You know, so how can you say that shit? And how can you say that? Oh, they were, you know, he leaving behind a person who supported him. You know, hey. Y'all don't know. You yeah. don't know shit. I promise. You don't know shit. No, I, I know. So how the fuck can you, how can you do that? You know what I mean? And and I've never, I've never done even half the things that the internet says that I have. You know what I mean? So it's just, it's amazing to me how you can post a picture. I posted a picture of my son on his birthday. You know what I mean? My son can read. And he's old enough that he wants to see his picture on my Instagram. He wants to, he wants to see all the people telling him happy birthday. You know yeah. what I mean? He yeah. wants to know that all these fucking people, because his dad is big chief, all these people are, are telling him, him happy, happy birthday. birthday. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then some fucking cunt <laughs> thinks she can post on my fucking picture of my son and talk shit about my relationship with his mom. You know what I mean? It just boils me to death to think that my son has to read that. You know what I mean? It's bad enough. That he has to go through it with me. Yeah. But having to read that, it's fucking ridiculous, you know? And then they want to talk about how I'm going to be broke. She's going to take everything, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Look, I've known Alicia long enough to know that the only thing that she gives a fuck about in this world are those boys. And she can take whatever she wants. She can have whatever she wants. I ain't, I'm, I'm not even arguing with her about it. So I don't know why people start, why they start doing this. Why they start saying, yeah. Oh, you can, you can, you know, keep all that shit, try and keep all that shit, but she's going to take everything. You ain't going to have nothing and you're going to deserve it. And you're going to be fucking homeless and whatever. And it's like, dude, I don't fucking care. Whatever. Just leave, just shut the fuck up and leave me alone about it. Like move yeah. on. Talk about something else. Why is that become, the 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 fucking subject of every picture or video we post no matter what we do yep. it's fucking darkened by my personal life it's fucking retarded you know well i feel like if i ever was bad enough that i was going to get on the internet and post some shit like that i'd take a fucking good hard look in the mirror and wonder where i fucked up my life yeah if you have if to if i had to sit and fucking worry about somebody else's life big chief and yeah i mean some dude some piece of shit fucking if street you, racer on a on a tv show 
If I cared that much about his fucking life that I got on the internet and spread rumors or tried to fucking figure out what he had going on in his yeah, life. Yeah, you woke up in the morning and was like, know, I'm going to see what I can figure I'd out go, about this God big chief. damn, let's change some shit. Right. If that's what you're on Instagram for or Facebook for mm-hmm. is to is to shit on Big Chief for his life, <laughs> you know. And a lot of it is, you know, people look up to me or whatever they can say or they look at me or they want to be like me or whatever. And, and a lot of the men... They don't want to know that sometimes divorce is, is the only option and women don't want guys to know that they may be they may they may find happiness if they're not together. You know yeah, what I mean? That's, and, the divorce is part of life, man. But, it's become more common than fucking people staying together. It's way more common. I don't I never had any friends growing up whose parents were still together. Yeah. You know, I mean, there's always that one kid, you know. <laughs> but then you go, God damn, well, look at him. He's fucking weird anyways. Yeah. You know, well, so just, it, there's no benefit it came there. Down it to, just happens. Right. And it's just it's just uh, incompatibility. You know what I mean? Yeah. There, was just, there was just things that, you know. Well, and man, it, in life, people change. And right. if you're not together every step of the way, man, you go different directions. Right. And, and eventually, you're not going to have anything in common anymore. Right. You know, well, you it's know, part of it. There's just, there's just a point in your life when... You you think you know? Hey, w- what we've been doing so far ain't working, and we've we've done everything we can different yep. ways, and and so let's try something else. You know what yep. I mean? And and who knows? Alicia's been my best friend since I was a kid. You know, so I don't think that that will ever change. Hopefully, you know things don't get so crazy that they do change. But I I hope they never change. Um, but if she does take all my money and all my shit and fucking you know just fucking ruin my life or whatever well hey so be it you know what i mean uh i got plans you know i got future plans i'm not giving up yet i got a future i got a bright future ahead of me like i don't know what i'm gonna be doing or where i don't know how i'm gonna get my money but i'll figure something out god damn it i figured it out to this point you know what i mean i wasn't supposed to make it this far i can guarantee you did you just pick your foot and smell it? Yeah, it's You're bad. a nasty it motherfucker, bro. stinks. Dude. You're a nasty God motherfucker. Damn. He just picked his foot and then smelled no, I didn't it. Pick, hey, hey, and then I didn't made the foot. grossest <laughs> face. I picked my toenail. Ugh. Mm. It's Damn. brutal. And, it's and, brutal. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. And there's some mileage on them dogs. I know. know because I, they're open. Look they're at open, them. open. Open. Ooh. I need Damn. to get them done. Yeah, you need to go get your, your shit cleaned well, up. Well, I kicked the tire of my car the other day, and it broke oh. this fucking toenail like Damn. almost in half. It hurt oh. bad. Well, there's something wrong with it now. Oh, <laughs> damn. It fucking hurts. Oh, I know. So you were picking at your foot, and then you smelled no, your hand. Bad, you dude. made the gross. I thought he was going to throw up. Oh, oh it smells Jesus. smells like the fucking inside of a belly button or something. Oh, <laughs> damn. Okay. So, uh, continue, so I got to so, so, you know, hey. Everybody wants to know about this new new person riding around with me, rolling around, walking, you know, following around, whatever. She? Well, that's my future plan. That's my plan. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, she rich? Well, no, but she uh, she has certain talents, and 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 she and and <laughs> I've she seen has, some of her talents, <laughs> and she has a certain look, you know. And uh, so, you know, hey. Plan B, you know what I mean? Like we mm-hmm. got this. I got this retirement. It's, you know, I ain't got no 401k or nothing. You know what I mean? So, and I want to make sure that my kids have everything they've ever wanted. So, uh, I I got a new plan at making money. It just came to me, Sean. It just came to me. If I can get, if I can get her, or or you know, we'll call her for lack of a better word, Jackie. We'll call her Jackie. All right. If I can get Jackie on the show and like get her a car or something to drive or have her build her a car to drive or something and get her a whole lot of followers and likes and and fans and stuff and get her a big deal on the show. Well, I'm a big deal on the show. And then she's a big deal on a reality TV show. And then the only thing left to do, I'm going to sell the sex tape. That's right. That's right. (laughs) That's right. Unless I beat you to it and sell the one I got. <laughs> You're so stupid. <laughs> hey, you know, I'll be right up there with Kim Kardashian and that fucking, right. uh, that dumb bitch from uh, Teen Mom. And You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, fucking the, old Hilton, too. The Hilton, yeah. See, yeah, that's uh, what they all Paris. do. Paris. And uh, Pamela. 
And Pamela. Oh, uh, yeah, hey, but I don't know if you original. can be fucking Tommy Lee. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can be Tommy Lee, man. That's a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> I ain't even got a boat or nothing. No, uh, no. But or, hey, though, or a dick those, that big. All those people... <laughs> All those people have one thing in common. They're rich. They are rich. You know? So, hey. And oops, it leaked out. Oh, damn it. Damn it, son Somehow, of a bitch. 14,000 copies got sent to Blockbuster. Yep. <laughs> yep. So, there's there's other things to do, guys. Mm-hmm. We can do other things, you know? Like, hey, we still got cameras and shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? We'll have Phantom and Squishy produce it. Around. We'll have Phantom <laughs> and Squishy produce it. You know what I mean? Yeah. We got two Murder then, Novas. We, we do have two Murder Novas. <laughs> And then uh, you could be the director. I, I don't know near as much about porn as you do. I don't even hardly ever watch this shit. I know you, a lot about porn. You know porn. I know a lot about porn. I feel like you could be a good director. And you could just be like walking around with like a red marker and just like, okay, you shoot it here and here. And like, <laughs> <laughs> you just like make targets, you know? <laughs> oh, man. Damn. Look, we're going to make this into a game. <laughs> and it'd be like, no, it's totally, it was totally leaked out and then yeah. and like yeah it'd be so i can't sh- believe it i'm so embarrassed shitty produced and i'll be like what 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 camera am i supposed to look at <laughs> yeah and there'll be different angles and shit <laughs> we'll water can't believe this shit. got out <laughs> what yeah. we'll watermark it yeah. yeah it'll have watermarks everywhere i like, just can't believe this got out yeah and then they'll so be like what are we gonna do they'll be like uh There'll be like monster cans in certain places and <laughs> yeah, shit. You know? yeah so we can yeah. get some get some back you know hey there's always there's always a way to hustle up some money. Yep. You know what I mean? Uh, and then, who knows from there? You know what I mean? I mean, that will open all kinds of doors. <laughs> I think it'll close a few. <laughs> but I- <laughs> Yeah, ones that we don't really care about anyways. <laughs> we ain't trying to do no charity work. Yeah. And then, you know, we could do a whole Street Outlaws, uh, like, box set. Yeah. You know, because, you know, Chuck would be in. Yeah. Chuck's Dave, always got somebody Dave. hanging around, you know. Hell, look at my look at my Instagram last night. Some chick was talking to, about something. And was like, "Well, hey, I'm going to be in Oklahoma City this summer visiting Chuck anyway." <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's quite a few guys on the show that yeah you, know, you could you could bring in on this deal. <laughs> <laughs> we could have the whole box set. Yeah. Meet the real street outlaws. M e a t. Yeah. M e a t. Is it so funny uh, that both no. of you guys knew as soon as I said that? Because <laughs> that's all we yeah. ever say in the AT. It could be like, you know, a, 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 a play on the show. You know what I mean? So there could be like Formula One car sounds in the background. Yeah. And, shit. Yeah. 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 and then like, it could be like, we're out here to do a test hit. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and then it could be banging on the two steps. <laughs> Hey, he didn't pull oh. me in far enough. He didn't, Damn. Was, and then Dom Hayer right. could be premature. Oh, you know? man. <laughs> like, as soon as the scene starts, he just goes everywhere. <laughs> and he's like, oh, my bump box is fucked up. <laughs> oh, man. Sorry, guys. I couldn't wait for it. <laughs> That's fucked up. Ah! Woo! Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. There's always room... To grow, <laughs> yeah. There's always there's always other things that, we could, a, that we're good at. Yeah, we, there's <laughs> there's other avenues that we could take. You know what I mean to make money. So yeah. don't ever count don't ever count us out. Shoot. Oh god damn, that would be great. Yeah. I think this is gonna be a good podcast, guys. <laughs> yeah. Shoot. Everybody's on there talking about Jackie's butt. Yeah. Just that's just nonstop, like. They go from hating on everything and talking shit on everybody, gold diggers and home wreckers and all that. And now they're talking about people's butts. And and then one guy, the greatest comment so far is one guy. Everybody was bitching it, talking about how big a piece of shit I am and talking about how big a piece of shit Jackie is and talking about everything. Mean, oh, just, she's a piece of shit, too? Oh, yeah, she's, she's a home wrecking piece of oh, shit. Oh, well, you know. I've actually called her that before. Yes. Yeah. God damn, dude. Yeah. That was fucking great. We'll, do, we'll go into that in a second. Anyway, okay. Everybody on my Instagram. Hey. <laughs> no, we're going to go into Man, it Man, I don't know if we can go so into that. Because we everybody's going to be calling her home record. They and... call her that anyway. But they... uh name on Instagram. Yeah. Home record for But yeah, we were, we were going somewhere and Jackie was really upset about the internet and everybody. And, and I think something you know, happened that day. 
Yeah, she was just upset, and she didn't want to go to the race or whatever because and help because she really does is like it's her and Monkey is really my only crew. Like, you know, I don't know. I can't really say that me and Jackie, you know, have been fucking flawless or whatever. But even when you know, because everybody fights or whatever, but even when you fight, like she still has to fucking help. She's the only help I got on the car. So, you know, she. <laughs> She's like, I don't want to go to the race because everybody there is going to call me a home wrecker and no one's going to like me and all this other shit. And, but she had came with us a few times testing her video and her whatever. And every time she did, the cars worked flawless. Yeah. So did mine. Dude. Yours did everything. Like, it was yeah. unbelievable. It was weird as fuck. We won and they worked flawless uh-huh. and it was weird. And it was like, there was like a good luck thing going on there or some kind of weird thing going on. And so we were going to a big race and Sean was worried about his car and Jackie didn't show up for well, a I'm test hit. Well, I'm pretty fucking superstitious yes, anyway. Yes, you are. So and when Jackie didn't show up for a test hit he had made the night before, all hell broke loose. Yeah. she The car had been doing great. She doesn't show up. The car does, doesn't does do worth a shit. It mm-hmm. dies. It overheats. It gets caught. The train comes when you're <laughs> trying to get back to the shop. Yeah. Like, Transmission wouldn't shift. Transmission yeah, wouldn't shift. Yeah, trans- yeah, just everything in the world goes wrong. And so the next day when she's talking about not going, Sean's like, bullshit. You you get your home wrecking ass up out of bed I and get those get ripped jeans on and get your <laughs> get your ripped jeans on get your home wrecking ass out of bed. You're going to that race. Yeah. You ride with me. Yeah, yeah. So, but anyway, <laughs> well, I meant it in the best way. Though. Yeah, yeah. No, I get it. You know, no. <laughs> yeah. There was all the the no offenses and the LOLs and all that shit. Right. <laughs> no offense. Right. Well, so everybody on, online is talking shit about her and calling her a home wrecker and calling her all this shit, talking bad about me and saying I'm a piece of shit. She's a piece of shit. Everybody's a piece of shit. True. And then one guy goes, I think you guys are all missing the bigger picture here. There's a new single mom out there. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That That's funny. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I need to send that guy a big chief shirt. <laughs> There's a new single mom out there. <laughs> fucking right. That's a good one. Uh, Man, I missed that. Did you then, like it? No, dude. Well, yeah, I liked it. But then, of course, the thoughts run through your head. You know what I mean? Of like, oh, yeah. Some fucking Ugh. dirtbag small uh, tire, no, small no. tire racer over there trying to move into my old house and shit. And use well, my you, shop. you have a nice shop out back and a lift and <laughs> be on my lawnmower. Nice, <laughs> yeah, he'd be fucking drinking your beer, riding your lawnmower, <laughs> swimming in your yeah. pool, teaching my kids how to fucking hit the baseballs. <laughs> yeah, well, that's one thing that, that oh, will never happen man, because. No. There's at least nobody. you won't let anybody else well, teach them how to hit. There, there isn't anybody out there that she could get with that's better at baseball than her. No. You know what I mean? Like, no. Like, you, you'd, be, you'd be hard-pressed to find anybody that could hit the baseball better than her. Maybe You're just about the me. only one I know. Yeah, just yeah. me. I, yeah. I'm thinking through my head right now. It's just, it's just really me. It's There's so only good. one dude you're for the job. A competitive dickhead. <laughs> There's only one dude for the job. You're like, bullshit, job. I'm better than her, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Because she's like a you know baseball phenom. Oh well, yeah. And now my kids are baseball. All baseball phenom. people are the same, man. I'm telling you. Yeah, dude, it's no joke. Her and her dad and her sister, their whole family's baseball crazy. Well, and if you remember, I told you I only been racing for the past 10, yes. 15 years because I was before that yeah. it was baseball. You were baseball. I was I was a baseball. Well, my kid is a baseball. Yes. And and Kentucky lived next door for a little while, and he was like, it's like goddamn training, training camp, camp in the backyard out there. She's like, Alicia's got him out there running bases every night and fucking hitting balls. I mean. But yep. goddamn, but they're good. She has him so fucking good at baseball; it's ridiculous. Yep. And as he loves it. I figured she was gonna, she was just gonna be too hard and push burn him right him out of there and burn him out like all them other kids. <clears throat> not dude, once, not once a kid starts realizing that he's better than everybody else. Then, <laughs> then, it, then that's so shitty. Though. Hey, but hey, that's but part of it, man. It's the truth, dude, man. He, I was the best. He's good, man. And his team, uh, Russ, um, he's a car guy. He's the coach. Yeah, and yeah. then. Uh, it's it's crazy the dynamic that team has. They're fucking. They're. Good I've never at heard baseball. of a team stick, staying together as long as that team. Has. The, and dude, there's kids on this team that have been playing since they were four together. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and Colville's little buddy Parker, he is a fucking animal, animal at any sport that he plays. At football, he's a like seriously gonna hurt someone in football. But in baseball, he just. Kills it, and him and Koval go back and forth on positions, and you know uh, Koval tries Koval tries to play catcher, and that's what Parker plays, and so and then they play uh, Koval plays shortstop usually, and then Parker and him will switch out, and do they they'll hit and they feed off each other. Koval hit a home run, Parker will hit a home run, 
if Koval strikes out and then Parker hits one, well, then Koval will come back up and hit one. You know yep. what I mean? Like, yep. it's, well, it's, uh, it's competitive as racing, man. I'm telling it's you. It's crazy. It's, uh, and, I, and, and however bad and cocky and, you know, however he cocks around right now. Oh, yeah, no, now, he's a little he's dickhead. He's going to get fucking get worse. worse. He's man, a little I'm dickhead because he knows he's good. Him and Parker both. You know, well, Parker, Parker will hit a home run and he'll come back and he'll just kind of like, Yep. Wave at the fans like, yeah, I yep. know, yeah, I know, I'm good, and it's gonna you get know? worse. And then now they got their little, their little like chest bump thing they do after they yep. hit home runs together and Wait shit. Wait till you the know? chicks start coming out and they have their little entourage, you know, yeah. of, of yes. cheerleaders. No, they're gonna be around. assholes. Yeah, what? Well, they're gonna, part of it. They're gonna be little that's assholes. Of, I was that asshole my whole life, <laughs> and now I'm just a car asshole. <laughs> So it really, yes. just, it was really an easy transition was, for me. It was because I already knew I was fucking good. And in baseball, you, there's not a whole lot of like running around and doing stuff all the time. It's just you know you hit and you run and it's yep. over, right? But your team can also fuck you. Right. But in drag racing, it's the same thing. You make one quick pass, you find out who's better, right? Yep. That's I mean that's the way it goes. But yep. yeah, it was uh, it's crazy to watch how good they are and how she's just got that baseball thing and yeah. it's just living in you because you watch other teams and the kids are out there in the outfield and they're out there in the bases and they're dicking off and playing with butterflies and tying their <laughs> shoes and shit and those are the teams that aiden's been on <laughs> <laughs> well like Cole and his buddies are like calling out the fucking the how you know how many strikes and how many outs yeah. and how many balls and they're fucking getting mad at each other and yelling it's yeah. it's wild it's man good coaching and well and the coaches fight and yell at each other and the parents fight and yell at each other and it's uh, I just sit out there with the rest of the moms, you know what I mean? Because that's what I am. Yeah. And I about yeah. about every fifteen minutes, I look and go, "Hey, what are they all yelling about? Yeah. I don't know what's going on." Yeah. But yeah. Anyway, yep. I can't even post a fucking video or a picture of my kid playing baseball without you're a piece of shit, <laughs> you dirt bag. And then now there's yeah. 50, and everybody that wants to say something about it doesn't want to use their own name because. They well, look yeah. stupid. So there's all these made up accounts now. It's just insane. There's 500 fake accounts to talk. People will make. You have to make a whole fake email. You know, it takes 20 minutes to make an email. Yeah, that's an ordeal. And they're making. They're doing all this just so they can shit on me. That's <laughs> intense, bro. That's a big. That's an intense yeah. fan. Yeah. If I can create so much energy in you that you want to get up off your fat lazy ass, go to your mom's computer. And fucking make a new email account just so that you can make a new Instagram yep. to shit on me and follow a bunch of strippers. I can't because that's all. They do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, because yeah. they they're fake accounts. Four thousand people, zero followers. They're, they're zero fake. Posts. All the fake accounts are. They follow fucking you know stargazing beauties and fucking uh, nighttime nighties, and they follow yeah. all these yeah. fucking strippers, yeah. and then they follow Big Chief. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I just, there's no way that I could, I would fucking, I would consider something different if that was my life. Yeah. If that's what I had to do, let's go see what he's doing today. What can I shit on him about? Yeah. You know, well, I mean, it's just. And why would you shit on me and burn that bridge of ever, like, if, what if you ever need a hat signed? Yeah. Because you know it mean? ain't going to happen after that. Because why would I sign your hat? I'm going to give you the stunner. Yeah, I'm Angie give Thomas. The, yeah. She done fucked up. Well, it's, you know, allegedly. I mean, we don't know her real name. Well, that's what that, that's we just use what we're that calling name her. to protect that's just her what identity. We're right? Her. We're yes. not. That's not her real name. Well, we don't want to put her real name out there. No, nah, hell no. We don't want. No, we're not dickheads. No, not at all. <laughs> no. Uh, and we'd suggest if you did find out who she was, just leave her alone. Yeah, don't <laughs> don't, don't don't like send her any messages or anything. <laughs> yeah, don't. That wouldn't uh, be right to do. Don't report her account as inappropriate or nothing. Yeah, don't, don't every day. Don't report her you know? report her for bullying, internet yeah. bullying. They take that shit serious. They do. You know, um, you could mess. 